In this video, we're going to be solving a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. I'm going to try to go over it in detail. If you already know how to solve a 3x3 three three using the methods that are given at the Rubik's Cube website, you may want to check out the other video I have where I don't go into as much detail because you already know the algorithms and I just kind of explain which ones you do at which points. So it's going to be a bit shorter, a bit quicker. Go ahead and check that out. But if you've never solved a Rubik's Cube, hopefully this video will go into enough detail to explain it to you. Uh, don't give up. You should be able to solve it following these instructions and just practice over and over again and eventually you'll get it and you should be able to solve a two by two in under a minute once you learn how to. So uh, let's get started. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a two by two Rubik's Cube and I'm going to show you in a method that is a uh, uh, uses some of the algorithms that use for a 3x3. Three three. I'm going to try to break them down. A 2x2 two two is definitely simpler than a 3x3 three because three, uh, you only have two layers to solve really and there's going to be four algorithms you need to learn. So lo let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to get the white side. But you need to realize you can't just get it white. Uh, you need to get the layers correct. So when you're solving a Rubik's Cube, you don't solve white side, red side, green side, orange side, you solve layer by layer. And we're going to do the same thing here, but we only have two layers. So we're going to get the white side, but we want to make sure that the colors match. And one thing you need to know about a Rubik's Cube is that the colors are always uh, in the same place proportionate to each other. So with a standard Rubik's Cube, you have the center square here, which never moves. So green is always next to red and across from blue. Orange is always next to white with yellow across from the white. And no matter how you move it, those center pieces never move. Now we don't have the center pieces on a two by two cube, but they're still in the same position. Blue is across from green, red is across from orange, and white is across from yellow. So I could do something like this, let's see. Um, I can put that there, I can put that there, and that there. And you might go, okay, I've got the white side, which if you continued at this point, you could actually still solve the cube, but it's going to make the end part a bit harder. Because you can see these colors don't match here. I want two green there, two red here, two orange here, and two blue here, however they match up. So let's go ahead and fix this. I've already got two in the right place, which is, that's easy enough to do. But what you need to do is you need to learn the algorithms. And the algorithm for doing the corner pieces is the same as doing the white corner pieces on the standard cube, and it's fairly simple. Uh, and so we have, when you're holding the cube a certain way, you're going to have a right side, a left side, an upper side, and a down side. And if I say to turn the right side, you're going to turn the right side clockwise. If I say right inverted, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. Same with the upper and the lower. So what I need to do now is I need to find the next white piece that goes here. And it can't just be any white piece. It can't be this white piece. It needs to be this one because we need the one, that other one that has white and red on it. And there's only going to be one other one that has white and red. And so you're going to look for it and you need to get it either in that spot, like so, or underneath it, like so. Now here, that is the correct piece, but it's turned the wrong way. So we need to do our algorithm to turn it the proper way. So what we're going to do here is the algorithm, uh, which is right inverted, down inverted, right and down. So you just need to keep doing that until the piece falls into place. And it may take a couple tries, but it's those same four moves over and over again. So again, now we need to find the piece that has blue and white on it, which there's only one other piece. And we're gonna put it underneath where it belongs. So it's under the corner where it belongs. And we're gonna go right inverted, down inverted, and right. And that time it only took one time. But as long as you keep doing that algorithm over and over again, you will eventually get the corner piece in the proper spot. Next, we're gonna start solving the yellow side. So at this point, uh, what we need to do is we need to get a yellow dot, one yellow dot on top, which we don't have right now. So the next algorithm, what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna have three scenarios, uh, basically. There's actually more, but I'm gonna simplify it here for you. You're gonna have two on top, which you're gonna to put towards the back, you're going to have the yellows on the sides, so you'll either have two yellows here and two yellows here. Anything else other than one yellow dot, you're going to put one yellow dot in the front left here. So let's go ahead and do the next algorithm. 
So here we go, we're gonna get the, the yellow side now. And the first thing we need to do is get a single yellow square up here, which right now we don't have any. Uh, you might not have any, you might have two diagonal, you might have two next to each other, or you have one, and we wanna get one. So the way we get just one there to start off is we do one algorithm over and over again. And um, so again, uh, you could have yellow squares on either side, yellow squares two in the back, anything else, put a yellow square up front here. And then you do this algorithm uh, with those scenarios until you get a single yellow square on top. And so I'm gonna say this because if I try to say it while I do it, I'm gonna mess it up. But it's gonna be front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. So front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. And so we didn't get it there, but now we have yellow on both sides, so put them on the sides. You don't want them on the fronts, you want them on the sides. We're gonna go front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. Now we got two on top, we put those to the back. We're gonna do front inverted, right, in, I'm sorry, front, right, upper, um, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. Again, we got diagonal, so we're just gonna get a square up front here, just like we did when we had none. And we're gonna go front, right, upper, right inverted, upper inverted, front inverted. So now we have one yellow corner piece on this side. And so looking at the side, we wanna put it in the bottom left corner. And so what we're gonna do now is we're going to do an algorithm, which is right, upper, right inverted, upper, right, upper, upper, right inverted. And you might have to do that two times in a row, but again, it's right, upper, right inverted, upper, right, upper, upper, right inverted. And again, you'll either end up with a single yellow square again, in which case you put it in the bottom left corner and do it a second time, or you're gonna get your yellow side. And once you have this, now we need, you're going to be very close. You're gonna have either one side solved, so it might be a different color, but here we have green. But what you need to do is get two corner pieces in the proper spot. So I have two corners in the proper spot right here, and that means I have one algorithm left to do. If you have it to where they're diagonal, to where one side matches, so we could say we could have the uh, yellow, green, red here, and then over here we would have the yellow, orange, blue, and we do the same algorithm twice. And this is a longer algorithm, it's a little bit harder, um, but you only have to do it one to two times. And again, if you have one side solved, uh, other than the yellow and, and white, one of the side solves, side solved, you only have to do the algorithm once. And I'm going to say this not while I'm doing it, because if I try to say it while I'm doing it, I'm going to mess up. But it's right inverted, front, right inverted, back, back, right, front inverted, right inverted, back, back, right, right, upper inverted, which looks like this. And there you go, you might have to turn the colors to match there at the end, but you have a solved cube. So again, that last algorithm is rather long. It's right inverted, front, right inverted, back, right, front inverted, right inverted, back, back, right, right, upper inverted. And I'll try to remember to display that one on the screen because uh, it definitely takes a lot. But once you learn how to um, to solve it and you practice a little bit, it makes, it's, it's not hard at all to do. Um, and again, you should definitely be able to do it in under a minute. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Check out the link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.